blooms for you. Yes, I'm really enjoying this series and uh, thank you so much for tuning in, for joining me on my little bloom dedication video. Really pleased with the fact that it's been quite the abundance of blooms this year. I'm talking 2020 and I would never have expected at this time of year to come to episode 18. This is great. They have been very generous this growing season and this blooming season. And uh, yeah, Hibiki is back. You said what? That is Hibiki. And your problem with that is? You have blooms too? No, you don't. This is Cousin It. Anybody watching this video for the first time? This is Maxillaria variabilis, AKA Cousin It. Co-host sometimes, not as much as he would like, sometimes. And sometimes when he is in the video, he butts in, interrupts. So I do apologize. We have a little bit of a discussion. And yeah, he just said, he has blooms, but he doesn't. Excuse me? No, you don't. You don't bloom until February, March. And then you will be featured just like Hibiki. So it is not your turn yet. <sighs> he told me to have a closer look. All right, let's humor him. Let's give him the time of day. Blooms, no. No blooms, lots of growths have matured. No blooms. Are you telling me I'm hot? I'm getting hot if I go this way? No, cold, cold, hot, hot, hot. What are you talking about? There's no blooms here. I'm gonna scald myself that hot? There's nothing here. Oh, geez, are you talking about, oh, please. How are you? These aren't blooms. Ugh, cousin it, seriously? Are you that desperate? Oh no, these are not blooms. You're just preparing under your sheaths. You're just preparing. These are gonna come in February, March. Stop it. Oh, are you ticklish? <laughs> Did that tickle you? Oh, okay. Does that tickle you behind the ear right there? No, no, they're not blooms, you're confused. Those are buds, okay? Buds, B-U-D-S, as opposed to B-L-O-O-M. But it's nice that you're showing us that you too are doing something of substance and not just sitting here taking up time. Thank you. Cousin It will have blooms eventually. Everything is starting to develop under there, but it's going to take time. All right, we have other blooms to show you that are really in bloom, okay? That's what we're doing here, the really in bloom. So let's go and have a look. What do you think of this? You still see the creases from the packaging, but you can't see any rips or tears. And I am here on my east side, showing off my new little curtain and my Sologeny Lime Bay. <laughs> Fifth bloom on the second spike, the other one has dried up. And this bloom is for now sock. N A U, new word, S O C. Now sock. I haven't heard from you in a very long time, but that's okay because the fact that I did hear from you and it was months ago, I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Doesn't mean that I don't appreciate having you on my channel but I wanted to give you my fifth bloom of the second spike I ever grew of my Sologeny Lime Bay, saying thank you very, very much for your support. Thank you very, very much for leaving me a comment back then on episode four. Wow. <laughs> I hope that you're doing well. I hope that everything is good at your end of the world, that you are not too affected by what has happened this year. And I hope that you like my little bloom, my Sologeny Lime Bay, because she bloomed for you. 
So thank you very, very much for being here. Thank you very much for being on my channel. So early days, I really appreciate it. Some of you leaving comments in my comment section have such pretty, pretty blooms in your avatar icons on the photos. I don't know, next to the name. I don't know what the official jargon lingo is for that. But there's one person that always has such a pretty striking orange bloom in that picture next to the name. And I'm always wondering what that bloom is. I can't exactly be sure because you can't expand on these blooms on YouTube. At least if you can, I haven't figured it out. So I'm going to take this opportunity to dedicate my fourth and fifth spike of my Pro Catavola Golden Peacock to Sandy Latrix. Because Sandy, you have that gorgeous orange color in your name. And I would like to know and take this opportunity to ask you, what bloom is that? And for that reason, I chose an orange bloom for you as well to dedicate to you to say thank you for your wonderful communication and your very, very welcome support on my channel from early days. And you can see that I am struggling a little bit here. So I'm gonna take her down and let's have a closer look. So yeah, Sandy Latrice, hope everything is well in your part of the world. I appreciate your comments so very, very much from Jump Street onto my channel. And since then it has been wonderful, wonderful exchanging some thoughts with you. I appreciate that. It was strange how the camera couldn't take it while it was a bit higher. I guess I have to hold them up. So Pro Catavola, Golden Peacock, Spike four and five are for you, Sandy. Thank you so very, very much for everything, for being so patient while I try to figure this platform out. I swear I'm just blown away by your support. I really appreciate it. So I'm hoping just to get a little bit more out of Golden Peacock this year because I've already had one bloom fade. You see how it dries out. Recently we had some extremely hot wind and I dropped to 18% humidity and I'm hoping that that was all it did to frazzle the blooms. I used to be able to get like six months of blooming out of the golden peacock. It doesn't look like that's going to happen this year and I'm just going to hazard a guess which may or may not be feasible for this video, but she needs a repot. Except now would be the time, but now is also the time to honor and recognize my wonderful, wonderful peeps here on the tube, my orchid ninjas. You see, she's growing new roots and she needs a repot. That's what I'm thinking, that there's something that needs a revamp in here. I was only gonna do it in spring, so I'm just going to watch her I'm not doing it now. She has Brassavola in her and that could be really, really bad. It's too late for the year, in my opinion now, and I'm not going to risk it. But anyway, that was a segue, a side note, not a good one, Sandy, because this is not about the orchid as such, maybe a little bit here or there. This is more about you and saying thank you to you. I really appreciate you. And I hope that you do enjoy the spikes that I have chosen for you. Let me know what that beautiful orange bloom is in your avatar. I would really appreciate it. And in the meantime, you stay safe and know that I appreciate you a lot. Brocatavola Golden Peacock blooms for you. This is very exceptional. This is something maybe somebody else owns, but in a different form. But this is um, a variety 
of a gutter guard in Spain. So who would this apply to in the comments section that mentioned gutter guards to me regarding how they use it for their orchids? Well, Patricia's orchids did. And we had a little giggle in between how we can get all innovative about growing our orchids. And she used a gutter guard and helped me out with describing it in great detail and how she has transformed it to make it work for her orchids. So I said, well, here is mine. This is a Spanish version of a gutter guard. I have bought two, that was three years ago because I was gonna use them as a vanda basket. And you can still see that one clip was there. And I thought this is perfect as a vanda basket. And to be honest, why I didn't explore that further, I don't know, but I may just do that because I've just created my own vanda hooks, Vanda hangers, my deluxe version. And I may need to secure one to this. But yeah, Patricia, so here's my gutter guard. But uh, I have not used it with media or anything like that. It will become an option maybe at some point because now I use the white cloth as a lining in instead of something organic. So my opportunities have opened substantially with this gutter guard and I'm quite happy that I still have it. Having spoken almost two minutes about gutter guards, <laughs> thank you, thank you for staying around Patricia because actually I have something much prettier to show you. So let's get that up here. Yeah, this is much prettier, isn't it? Although it is a little bit wonky. <laughs> Careful, whoop. Yeah. I wonder how this happened. I wonder why it happened. It's never changed the direction of where I had it positioned on the shelf. This is my Phalaenopsis Ian's Black Eagle, Patricia. And this one is a straggler bloom that has opened up recently. Very, very late in the year, I must say. This was a slow, slow to get going and very slow to open the first blooms of the summer which I suppose is a good thing because if everything else is super duper colorful, then it's nice to have a little bit of a straggler every once in a while just to keep the vibe going, you know? So I suppose I can forgive it for its wonkiness. It still looks kind of pretty. Maybe it's just tired. Judging by the fact that there's hardly any of that sweet fragrance, it could be the time of year. Now it just smells of Tupperware. But Patricia, I hope you don't mind the little wonkiness of this gorgeous little bloom because it doesn't actually reflect how thankful I am to have you on my channel and how much I enjoy our little exchanges in the comments section. So thank you ever, ever so much. I hope that you like Yin's Black Eagle and wishing you a fantastic day, no matter what you are up to, I hope it is successful and goes your way. Ooh, that rhyme. Thank you, Patricia. As much as I enjoy Arengus mysticidii on my shelf, I can see the blooms, but I do want to show mercy your Orangus mysticidii bloom spikes that I have been very, very carefully growing so that not a single bloom blasts. This is the best two spikes I've ever had on this orchid. So Mercy, I am speaking to Mercy in Cyprus. I am not exactly sure if there's two of you. I have two Mercies, but one has a surname. So Mercy from Cyprus, I hope that you recognize your name. And I hope that uh, if you have two accounts, please let me know because I also have the other lady, Mercy, to get to. And um, I don't want to be doubling up and making a complete fool of myself. So your help would be very much appreciated, just as much as your support is appreciated on my channel. I want to thank you for that with these two gorgeous, gorgeous, bloom spikes from my Orangus mysticidii. 
very fragrant at night. Lives in the dining room because, again, I don't want any of these buds or blooms to fade, blast, leave so soon as they don't last very long anyways. Um, last year I got four spikes, but that was in a course of 11 months, two spikes in one year. So that was pretty impressive. I doubt that I will get the same this year because basically she has been transferred from her setup that I had earlier on a mount to this setup here, which is now a semi-hydro format with Ceramis and Leca. And I have her inside this other little container so that I don't spill water every time I miss the top and the water comes pouring out of the reservoir. But let me try something. Uh, Timestamps for anybody else who wants to skip this. But as I do a lot of white, everything is white and white and white in my collection, it is a bit difficult for me to show white blooms. <laughs> Although you can, I, I do think you can see how cute they are. Um, let me try something. Let's see if this works. I mean, I don't take myself too seriously, to be honest, but when it comes to showing blooms to my subscribers, to say thank you, let's see if I can get it a little bit prettier. I think I need like a blackboard or something. <laughs> this is no disrespect to you, Mercy, and definitely no disrespect to the orchid, and I better not knock that container over. I gotta be super careful. But let me try and get this up against the background. Ta-da! Can you see how gorgeous they are now? Oh, I love it. I love it. I think I'll get three weeks out of them. I had one blast on the left spike, where you can see just to the right of my thumb there, top right. But oh, I just, I could just, yeah. Apart from the fact that my arms are getting a little bit tired, but I think that we have kind of gotten the point. Now, how do I take a picture? Help! <laughs> Yeah, I think I've got um, 14, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 on the left spike. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, oh, 15 on the right spike. That is pretty good going from last year. So let me get this down because I'm getting sore. So yeah. I hope that you enjoyed seeing the blooms I had chosen for you, Mercy. Please get back to me to make sure that I get to the other Mercy and not double up, which eventually will happen doubling up, but it's a bit too soon. I need to get to some other people to say thank you as well. I really appreciate having your support and that you're around. And I really hope that you can see this video to know that I am um, saying a massive, massive thank you to you. Arangus, Mr. City, I mercy. A string of gorgeousness. We have repeats in the orchid hobby when it comes to summer bloomers. Sequential spikes are a blessing, especially for this series. Initially, I was thinking I don't want to double up, I don't want to risk it. And then I thought, you know what, if somebody has a two accounts and comes in on two accounts to support my channel double, then you know what, you are going to get double the recognition. So, my Phalaenopsis corner survey variety Chatela Day, it has a seventh bloom open. Bloom number five is still holding on, which is great because this time of year, there's a little bit of cool off. So these blooms are lasting a little longer. Bloom number six is still looking mighty fine, but mercy, Iaonu. This is bloom number seven, and you can see the McLean smile is super white. So here we have a little bit of an older bloom, and here comes, who are you? There's two of them zooming in on this. Here's a little bit of a medium-aged bloom, and here is the McLean's white bloom of youth and freshness, which I guess they're honeybees. I know somebody will come in and correct me. I don't know. 
but they love these summer bloomers as well. Merci, Ioannou. Let me just say thank you. If you're a person in your own right, thank you so much. Thank you so much for being on my channel, for your support. I really appreciate it. If you are one person with two accounts, thank you so much as well. So let me just pretend you are one person because that is how I recognize it on my list. And I just have to say that everybody that comes to me so early and stays with me and pulls through with me and gives me positive feedback or constructive criticism, every one of those inputs are so fundamentally important for me at this point in time. And I really appreciate the fact that you actually do take the time to give me that kind of feedback. How quickly can I react and learn? Well, that's a different thing, but it has been taken into account. It has been noted and it is something that I may need to research in order to do better, or I don't have the resources in order to do better. Either way, all these comments, Merci, I really appreciate it. I thank you so very, very much for them. They are very valuable, very helpful, and definitely, definitely are being taken into consideration. And that goes with everybody and anybody. I encourage dialogue. So having said that, Mercy Iaonu, thank you so very, very much. My Phalaenopsis Cornusurvi variety Chatela Day, the seventh bloom, much less fragrance now that we're in the cooler months of the year, but needless to say, not in any way, shape or form less vibrant. So sending a huge smile to you with a thank you attached. Let my variety chatella day do that on my behalf. Oh, this is a shame to be honest. Although I can fix one thing because I don't need this support so high, so let's get rid of that. Nothing should come in the way of this gorgeous orchid. Sunshine lady and orchids. My Lelia perinii blooms for you. And I have to say that it is a shame because the colors aren't coming out true at all. So if I hold her this way, I'm getting a little bit more of the pink in and not the washed out white that you see. She is like, a, I want to say mauve, but it's more like a dusty, dark lilac. And unfortunately, the wind came against this petal here and did some destruction, which is a shame. So I'm sorry about that. But uh, if you can picture, uh, I'm trying to think of a, of a color. Just one moment. Now, I haven't got anything that can simulate the depth, but the lightness of the color of the Lelia perinii, Sunshine Lady. I am so very sorry. I hope that doesn't take away from how grateful I am to you for watching my videos and coming and supporting my little channel. I really appreciate it. But I am, however, very, very glad to say that this year, Lelia perinii is a much more substantial bloom than she was last year, because last year, I believe my blooms were only like three quarters the size in comparison to this year. I would say about three quarters of the size. So I'm really, really pleased about the size of the blooms this year. She is now open in total three days. Last year I got 11 days out of the two blooms that I had, which was kind of surprising and disappointing at the same time. But we shall see. Sunshine Lady, I also want to point out the depth of this lip is like a royal, royal magenta. And then in here is the purest of whites going down into the throat with some form of striations and margins leading the way in. It's a, it's a very, very beautiful bloom. And there's another thing that I didn't notice last year, but this is how the lip curls around and becomes tubular to protect the pollen in there. Look at that. And then the color here before it goes into white. 
it's very, very intricate. The simplicity of this bloom is remarkable, but when you look at it a little bit closer, oof, it becomes quite, quite intricate. And I am hoping that I'm gonna get more out of her than last year. Sunshine lady, I ramble, I babble, I deviate away from what this video is about. I call them my flamingos as well because they look so much like flamingos, especially when in bud. The beak area, the neck, and then that funky beak coming out of a flamingo. Again, I am totally distracted. So for you, sunshine lady, a massive, massive thank you, thank you, thank you for your support on my channel my Lelia perinii, two gorgeous blooms this year. A little bit of damage, that's me. Mechanical damage, it's probably a bit of water, so they are quite sensitive. But thank you so very much for your support, Sunshine Lady. I really appreciate it. I'll see you on your next video. All right. Those were blooms. You got it? There's a difference. What you saw were blooms. But that's okay. It's your first year with me doing this. I get it. We are both on a learning curve. So blooms. All right. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope we learned something today. Thank you so much for keeping me company. Cousin It, I appreciate your input and anything else you might have to say, let's, let's keep that for later, all right? Another video, and we can go all over all these things. And Hibiki, yeah, still pretty. I am losing some bracts though. I am losing blooms now. They are starting to look a little bit like a straw flower. And I have to be extremely cautious this time of year because it seems like for a buffet, the mealybug still enjoys skiing this orchid all nice and green and lush and it does attract more bugs than it normally would so anybody else with a hibiki have you got the same experience watching out more bugs suddenly than ever before i do and that's why it gets sprayed down quite a lot this time of year but i have to also be very careful because i've already got new growths coming and which is great but i have to be very careful so that they dry out it's fine. There's another one down there. I don't want to spoil the momentum of this gorgeous orchid. I think I have another one somewhere, but I can't quite see it. There must be something in there somewhere. Ach, it's only the beginning, so we have a ways to go. But for now, here we go. Thank you, everybody, so very much for watching. Thank you for all your support. And if you have any questions about any of the orchids that you saw in this edition that I didn't elaborate on enough, please leave me a comment and I would be very happy to get back to you. And as I'm looking, you see, you see, you see, you see, there we go. Those little things down there are finding a late year buffet and that is not happening on my watch. So I shall get my paintbrush out very shortly and take care of this creton. Thank you. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. I appreciate having you here and I'll see you next time. Stay safe. Bye.